Hey everyone, and welcome to the third episode of the Let's Build a BM Invert in Planet Coaster series. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is doing the catwalks storage and transfer area of the coaster. I initially set out to do a little bit more than that this time, but I ended up spending a lot more time on the storage section in the transfer area than I think I had anticipated, but that does mean, you know, it's a little bit more detailed than I think it could have been. So, right here you're seeing me get a, uh, a spare train put on one of the storage sections using the uh, invisible LSM pieces for the uh, invert. So basically what I was doing is giving the effect that, you know, we're running the coaster on one train and we're going to have one in the spare. So now we're moving on to the brake catwalks. Now, the reason I'm not using like, the in-game ones is because not only are they, well, They've got those really stupid girder supports for the actual catwalks, and on one meter they basically break the game. Um, they're not that flat platform like real B&M uh, invert brakes are. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm using those hazard pieces, has not hazard pieces, hazard like strip sign things with the diamond kind of metal things on them to create the base of the platform and then I'm going by and putting like two by two centimetre beams on there to create the actual uh, railings for the catwalks there. So basically we're j you know just going to add the final details to the uh, technical side of the coaster and then next episode we're going to be moving on to the station and the other areas of the coaster which are a little bit more you know aesthetic and not really super realistic and technical. Um, another thing that we do work on in this a bit later on is the uh, lift hill catwalks and like the little um, maintenance bit above the uh, lift hill motor with the uh, with like a ladder that goes up to it. So that's another thing that comes a little bit later on but for now it's just kind of a tedious process of making the custom catwalks because you've got to make the base and then you've got to do all the flooring like the panels inside. It can get very annoying and boring but you got to do it. You, it makes it gives a far nicer result than using the in-game one, so you know, whatever. So if we kind of do it. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly talk about um, the upcoming kind of review video I'm doing for the year, which I don't really want to say like a best of 2020 kind of video because it's not really highlighting everything. It's literally just some of my favourite things that I've done this year. Kind of like I don't know some of the cloak uh, planko creations that we've done. The hell, there's some no limits in there, surprisingly, even though I don't actually post no limits coasters. But I think the last one I did was like two years ago, maybe. I think it was that hydraulic launch coaster in May 2018. I, I don't really play No Limits anymore, but I recently kind of took part in something, so you might see that coaster make up an appearance there. I also do use FVD to design the coasters now. Uh, some of them I'm still pretty terrible with it, but I can, you know, kind of get around making some elements. So that's a uh, that's another thing that. Uh, so in, in that, that video, it's going to be like that. It's going to be more of like a kind of a cinematic video with, you know quick edits it's not gonna be massively long it's not gonna be me going through and being like oh I made this this month so we're going to go down and talk about it no I, I don't really want to do that because I feel like that would be a bit too dull for a year I want it to be like a quick so there's January that's what we did in May now we're in December so we got the invert of course and talking about highlights on the channel as well like the incredible uh, milestones that we've hit in the relatively short amount of time which is absolutely incredible and I cannot thank you guys enough because it's honestly it, it's just amazing to me the, the support on the channel uh, I, I say that now we are at 200 and uh, like 80 subscribers now which is absolutely insane so thank you guys so much for the support again it's ridiculous it's kind of mind-blowing because I oh I'm, I'm glad you guys like the channel because I'm, I'm just really happy to be able to put the content out uh, because, you know, I'm enjoying making it, you guys are enjoying watching it, it's a good balance and I'm really happy with that, so... Again, leave any suggestions for videos in the comments below, leave any suggestions for this coaster, in terms of, like, the name, because we do still need a name for this ride, and I'm quite unimaginative, and I will end up probably picking something really, like, dull, like, Viper or something, which is, you know, an, a, a fairly okay name for an invert, but, you know, it's a little bit unimaginative because it's kind of a basic name. It's a very Six Flags-esque name, so if you do, if you guys do have any suggestions for the name or even, you know, like the tagline for the coast or something like that, please do leave it in the uh, comment section below because, you know, we already have the color scheme for the ride, which is that really nice orange, like I said before. Um, I, I think someone said that this coaster has the same color scheme as, is it Lightning uh, Park in Q8? Is it in Q8 or Korea? It's one of the two, but it's got this color scheme 
and it was a big inspiration for this, uh, you know, the actual color scheme of the ride, because I genuinely, I, I don't know why, but I really liked that color scheme, and I thought it was genuinely a really nice design on it as well. It really works for an invert, because they're... Like I said, the train does contrast it very nicely. So, basically, just for the remainder of the, the video, which I think is going to be about five or six minutes, um, like last time, I'm just going to let it time-lapse with some music, so you guys can enjoy that while I, you know, just wrap up the voiceover a little a bit a little bit. So, um, thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, I do hope you enjoy the rest of it, where I think we finish the catwalks, and then we do move on to the storage section, which... Uh, I do think came out really nicely and I think you guys will be you know really enjoy that a bit So yeah, I just want to say thank you very much for that uh, Thank you some for the support we've had this year because I think this will be my last video Talking to you guys in 2020 because it's currently the 29th when I'm recording this I think that's the same day I'm gonna put this out because I'm gonna schedule the kind of end of year video for midnight on first because Gotta get it out on the new year so, you know, final thing. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for the support this year. It's been absolutely incredible. The channel has never been better. Uh, honestly, the, recently, <laughs> I'm kind of like, you know, really thankful for you guys of, of all the all the stuff you've been doing, all of the suggestions and all of the comments and all of the likes and all of the views and all of the, you know, interaction you've had and just the support. It's been mind-blowing, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this year and thank you very much for being a supporter of this channel and again I don't normally like to say this but if you aren't subscribed please do consider it if you do like my stuff. Um, I try and post twice a week uh, or I have been doing for like maybe a two months now. I'm probably gonna mess that up one time but um, yeah have a great new year. Here's to all the best for 2020 because it's 2020? It's 2021. It's gonna be undoubtedly better than this year. Hopefully, I mean, it's not like, you know, everything's just going to go back to normal on the 1st of January, so we're all just going to have to stay safe, but also enjoy New Year's kind of remotely, so get in your house, get beer, get chocolate, get food, do whatever you want, stay up till 4 in the morning, 5, probably 5 for me, but uh, yeah, I've just really long-winded this end section here, so I'll, I'll just stop waffling and leave you guys to it, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.